Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you some cool tricks for when you're building beats in Studio One. They're built in, and if you know where they are, and if you do some cool little modifications to your shortcuts, you can really fly around building beats in Studio One fast. Now, if you're an owner of something like Machine, you'll really love the note repeat feature. Basically, it means that when it's switched on, that when you hold down a note, it repeats it to the quantized setting at the time. So if you want to put hi-hats in, you put it on like 8th or 16th, and then it will just put them in very fast just by holding down a note. That feature is built into Studio One. So we're going to use that to start building the beat, and then we'll do some other cool features. So the first thing I want you to know about, if you don't already know about, is go to View and the Record panel. Then this will appear at the bottom here. And you'll see it'll give you a few things. Overdub, Replace, Record Takes, Record Mix, Undo Last Loop, Undo All, uh, note repeat and note erase. I won't go over all of them at the moment, but the ones I want to go over now, which are well worth keeping an eye on, are input quantize. That means it will put the beat in in time as you record it. And then these other three here, which are going to be really helpful. Now, note repeat means that basically, as I say, if we've got this set to eighths, when we press the note, as it's playing, it will repeat the note until we switch that back off again. And note erase is a really cool feature that basically means is if we hold down a magic key, in this case I've mapped it to G0 with that, that switched on and then hold down the note we were playing before, then it will erase any notes that we don't want. So I'm going to show you that in action. So what I also want to say as well is turn overdub on and turn looping on here and create yourself a loop. So it's working like a drum machine now. So I was born in the good old days of step machine Drum, step drum machines in the 80s so this is how we did it all the time we had a step and we just went around in a circle so this is about building loops and beats so first thing I want to do is I want to get us right back to the beginning and do a couple of quick features so no repeat and note erase now I have mapped down here two shortcuts now the way you do that is you come into the short keyboard shortcuts and you find it and you put note repeat very handy that they've got this and it will find it and you simply click in this box here you type the shortcut you want which at the moment is that and I, if it's it's already assigned I'm going to change these around actually because I'm going to make them more simple for myself and I'm assigning it and I'm going to go for note erase type that in there there it is I'm going to assign that to there so now hit apply I have those as shortcuts that I can either t jump between very quickly or hit the button again and it turns it on and off. So, got my metronome set up. I'm going to put this in record. I've got a count. Press record. So that's now going around in a circle. The other thing to remember is that if you come down here, if you've got this switched on, it will map it to the impact set that's loaded at the time. So if I change this impact set, I'll quickly show you this while I'm doing this, you'll see them jump, which is handy, because the one of the problems with impact sets is they're not always mapped to the same place all the time, which can be a bit of pain if you don't know what you're looking for. So make sure that's switched on. If it's on notes, you need to hit that and you'll see them all there. Let's put a hi-hat in. We're going to put in eights. So we're going to hit the note repeat shortcut I've created. and hold the note down. Now it'll do the velocity as well. Let's put four on the floor with the kick drum. I'm gonna turn note repeat off again now snare in. Now I'm going to turn no repeat back on for my snare and do a very fast roll one. Now if I don't like that then I switch on the note erase instead, hold down my G which I've got mapped to it and it removes them. Just the ones I've, I don't want anymore. Turn that back off. 
beat. And it's as simple as that. Now, what I was using was overdub, so as it went round in a circle, then it would build up the drum part. If I had a replace on, when I hit record, it's going to remove the stuff I put in. You see, it's all cleared that out now, which is what we don't want. So, they're very, very quick tricks that can help you build up very fast grooves quickly. And if you map some extra shortcuts, like the note repeat and note erase, then it doesn't take you long to build up really cool beats fast. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.